All right, we're going to do a little color theory here. First, open up this girl. She should be in the folder. If you can't find her, find one on the internet that has perfect global illumination. In other words, no shadows. They're easy to come by. Also, make a new document, 256 by 256, color, and hit OK. Make a layer, and what I want to do is take a circle, a marquee circle, and basically drag this out. I guess it doesn't have to be so exact. Let's just have fun with this. Let's go and take a brush. It'd be faster. Let's take this brush and turn it to a number 19. And what I want to do is make three layers. This layer, I want to put 128 blue on here. I'm going to show you how to manipulate these to your favor. So blue, 128. So put a blue speck out there in the world. Okay. Next, go on to this layer and go 128 green. And again, on this one, make a 128 red. So what's 128 and why does that, you know, seem so, I don't know, kind of familiar yet strange. Actually, the perfect saturated color is at a 255, and that's a machine language. 255 is, you know, kind of ASCII for the end of all numbers, so 255. So 255, half of that is 128. And a quick way to do that is here, I can also adjust it to 50. So I can not only adjust the value of color, but I can ask, actually go to the value of tint. So let's say RGB is set 128. If I rank this up number to 90, I get a higher value of red. And if I go to 10, I get a darker version of red. But notice it's always red. Okay, let's do that again. Let's uh, kind of look at this for a second. Let's say I have 0 here and 128 here. What happens if I want a darker version of red? Okay. Well, this is 50. If I reduce it to 10, I always keep this 0 there. And if I reduce it to 10, I get a real dark. At 20, I get a, a less dark. At 50, I get the perfect color that I have now. And at 100, I get absolute green. Okay? So kind of use these numbers. You can do a lot of powerful things with these numbers. Okay, so what I want to do is fill this background with 50% gray. So what I do to do that is type in uh, 128, 128, 128, and 50% here. So gray is just a mix-up of perfect all-around colors with the black. And that's what how gray is formed. This is probably 101 for you guys for color, but trust me, it's leading somewhere. Let's take this and take these and put them on overlay. So this one on overlay yields black on any other color. Let's take this one and put it on overlay, which yields black on every other color. And this one on overlay, which is the same thing. So if I take these in, in any of their values and mix them together, you know, like if blue over red becomes black with overlay, what I want to do is start learning what these values are, the soft light, the overlay, the lighten, and how they work on top of this and with the 50% gray. Notice with the 50% gray gone, what happens? Well, color gets destroyed altogether. And the fact that these are black is only because they are laying on 50% gray because these are 50% colors. So now what I can do is lower this down and you can see I can get a very wide variety of colors, tints, tones, and everything else. Okay. 
It's a very cool thing. But how do we use something like this to our favor in maybe messing around with skin tone? So that's going to be in the next video.